This was no ordinary war. This was a war to make the world safe for democracy. And if democracy was made safe, then nothing else mattered. Not the millions of dead bodies, nor the thousands of ruined lives. This is no ordinary novel. This is a novel that never takes the easy way out. It is shocking, violent, terrifying, horrible, uncompromising, brutal, remorseless, and gruesome. But so is war. Johnny Got His Gun was written in 1939 by Dalton Trumbo. It tells the story of a character named Joe Boneham was a soldier in World War I. Joe is injured and loses all of his limbs and senses, but is still alive. He manages to come up with a way to tell time and communicate with others. Johnny Got His Gun was banned during World War II because it was deemed anti-war and unpatriotic. Dyer states that entertainment has five utopian sensibilities. Energy, or the capacity to act. Abundance, having enough to spare. Intensity, experiencing of emotion directly, fully, and authentically without holding back. Transparency, a quality of relationships between represented characters and community. Sense of togetherness or belonging. In the novel, Joe Boonham loses all of his limbs and is unable to move. He is in such an unsettling state that he is covered so he won't scare the nurses. In this still from the movie adaptation of the book, the only visible part of Joe is the top of his scalp. In the novel, even this part of him was damaged. There is an abundance of controversy throughout and surrounding the novel. It was banned during World War II for unpatriotic views, such as the quote below. I can't, I can't stand it. Scream, move, shake something, make a noise, any noise. I can't stand it. Oh, no, no, no. Please, I can't. Please, no. Somebody come, help me. I can't lie here forever like this until maybe years from now I die. I can't. Nobody can. It isn't possible. Oh, please, please, no. No, no, it isn't me. Help me. It can't be me, not me. No, no, no. Oh, please. Oh, oh, please. No, no, please. No, please. Not me. The novel is told from inside Joe's mind. The reader realizes Joe's injuries as Joe does. As all Joe can do is think and reflect on his life, the reader is exposed to all of his emotions. He feels everything from anger and longing to regret. When armies begin to move and flags wave and slogans pop up, watch out, little guy because it's somebody else's chestnuts in the fire, not yours. It's words you're fighting for, and you're not making an honest deal your life for something better. You're being noble, and after you're killed, the thing you traded your life for won't do you any good, and chances are it won't do anybody else any good either. I am the dead man who is alive. I am the live man who is dead. If they won't come into our tent with that build-up, then I am something more. I am the man who made the world safe for democracy. If they won't fall for that, then for Christ's sake, they're not men. Let them join the army, because the army makes men. Johnny Got His, Gu Got His Gun is not a work of entertainment. It was not produced solely for pleasure, and it does not meet the five utopian sensibilities.